This is exactly why you need a catch can. All that crap is going right back into your intake. Another great Facebook Marketplace find for the Diesel ZR2 today. Just been finding so many great things on Marketplace lately for the Duramax, and I'm super surprised by that because not a lot of people have these trucks. So here we have the burger tuning catch can setup for the Diesel Colorado used, obviously. A couple clamps, a couple hoses, pretty simple. A few uploads ago, I installed this intake here, the AFE open style intake. And when I did that, I noticed some oil in one of the charge pipes. The charge pipe right here, actually this one. When I took this clamp off, there was oil in there. Which is not totally surprising. I mean, that's, that's going to happen, whether you have a catch can or not. Now, I was a little surprised that there was as much in there as there was, considering this truck only has 8,000 miles on it. But we're going to start to remedy that situation today with the new catch can. And if you didn't watch the video of the intake install, I put a microphone right here. Got a bunch of good intake noises, in my opinion, because this truck is pretty unique in the noises that it makes via intake, not what I was expecting. So check out that video. It'll be at the top. Disconnect a couple things before we install the new catch can. Shouldn't be too difficult. Always put your oil cap back on because Lord only knows what could fall in there and destroy your engine. Now this kit was designed with this mount. This is the Mighty Mouse mount. Mmm. So this is actually made to go on the stock airbox. It just sits kind of off down in there and then you mount that to this. Obviously I don't have the stock airbox, so this is going to be a little bit of a custom install. And I'm going to start by using some, some aluminum, aluminum flat stock. All right, we have our L shape. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to run from that bracket over to the airbox and it'll be another L. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Gonna run there, and I'm gonna connect it right here. That's actually gonna strengthen up this box a little bit. Not that it's loose, but give it a little bit more strength. So here's my quick L bracket. I'll make these even. Just just a little test fit here. It will work. It's not level. <laughs> It's just sitting there, but that will work excellent. So here it is just sitting here. So it's going to connect right back there on that bolt and then up here and bolt that in. And it's going to sit basically just like that in the catch candle mount here. Lots of room. Right there, there's my hole for the mount. I just move this out of the way a little bit. We'll end up putting that back down, obviously. I'm gonna drill the holes for the actual mount of the catch can, two of them. One uh, final test fit, and then this thing will be ready for paint. Let the paint dry and install it. Very happy with that. That's going to work out very nicely. Bracket done, turned out pretty nice. 
I think. It's not too shabby. I like the textured finish. I'll put this bracket in, and we'll start mounting everything up and work on the hoses. Super solid. I am really impressed with that. That seems like a really, really good mounting solution. As long as the hood doesn't hit, I can't see how it would though. We can put Mr. Filter back on there where we suck up something in the intake that will ruin my engine. Now I have to figure out the hoses, so I gotta cut the old clamps off, the old hoses that are already there, and then just route the hoses that I have on there. It should be pretty simple and straightforward, depending I don't break anything. So right now, it just runs from that crankcase vent up here and then straight back in to the intake tube. So we're basically, that's gonna be diverted up here and then out here, and this should capture some of the oil, hopefully a lot of it, but you know, we'll see. Oftentimes, it doesn't catch as much as you'd hope. And the factory clamps are a non-removable type, so you have to cut them. These things are a freaking pain to get off. There we go. She'll twist off of there, okay. I just have to do it again way back there where I can't reach. But I feel like I'm getting somewhere. My back. There we go. Come here, booger. Now, if we look here, there's definitely plenty of oil in that thing. Let's try a clean finger. Oh, yeah. This is exactly why I need a catch can. All that crap is going right back into your intake. Let's just take, see my clean finger here, put it in this valve. Now, this is all the crap that's coming out of your engine going back into your intake. Oh yeah, see all that crap? That's going straight into your intake. Let's do some routing. So you basically go from there to there. Do I want the shorter one? One of these is shorter, I probably want the shorter one. Boom, ooh, that's not quite long enough, is it? I gotta get that out of the way. Story of my life. This is what I got so far. There is the inlet that goes to the inlet pipe. I have the wiring routed. Just like factory, I have these clamps back on there, just like factory. That's in there nice and tight. That's in there nice and tight. And then routed right up here to the outlet of the catch can. Pretty simple. Now I just have to add the tube from the crankcase ventilation up to the catch can. We'll be done. I actually had to take a break and run to the parts store because the hose that came with this kit was like three inches too short. And that's not the guy's fault who sold it to me. That's just because I mounted it in a different location. So I got a much longer one. Now we got to cut it to fit. That'll be it. I can't reach. I'm gonna utilize this factory little brackety mounty thingy. I am putting a small space between here because this hose is bigger. That way this won't clamp down quite as hard on the hose and possibly rupture it. Because we don't want that. I am happy with that. Seems to be pretty nicely routed, if I do say so myself. There's the factory inlet down there obviously comes up to the catch can and then the catch can to the factory breather this is i mean this thing is is solid and it's easy to access too which is what i wanted and it doesn't look like horrendously ugly like it's sticking like up here or something weird like that
custom bracket for the catch can made. Catch can mounted, hoses ran, engine put all back together. Looking pretty clean under here. But now that that's done, what's left to do under the engine bay? Definitely have some things in mind. Would love a big single turbo mounted right up here, up top. Next mod, maybe. Worley Custom Fab has a kit coming out, so we'll see. Future plans, possibly. That wraps up this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune back in for more ZR2 content, LS1 E36 content. I'll get back to that sometime. I mean, look at it. It's just, it's making the garage covered in dust. It's just, it's body work. And of course, big truck content, the LB7. If you didn't check out the headlight build on the ZR2, I suggest that you do. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you next time.